If there's a holy land for speed enthusiasts, it's not found in the Middle East, rather an unassuming corner of Western Europe. Huddled amongst Germany's bucolic Eiffel Mountains is der Nürburgring, an automotive mecca that for decades has spurred racers and car makers alike to go faster than ever before. Welcome to another short list. I'm Autoguide.com Detroit Bureau Editor Craig Cole with another top 10 list that is sure to piss y'all off. Today we've got a compilation of the fastest production vehicles to circle the legendary Nordschleife, that's the Nürburgring's main circuit, a treacherous 13 mile course that's as demanding as it is deadly, but you already knew all of that, so on with the list. Oh, but one more thing. I've got to give credit where credit is due. These times have been compiled by the website NürburgringLapTimes.com. Yeah, right there, that one. So thanks to them and on with the list. Shifting gears, the number 10 finisher, the vehicle that circled this fabled track in a blistering 7 minutes 12 seconds, is a hometown hero, well, hometown for Detroit at least, the Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. Enabling this impressive finish is the car's massive 8.4 liter V10 that puts out some 600 horses. Narrowly edging out that Mopar monster is the Gumpert Apollo Speed, which completed the Nordschleife about half a second quicker. Hurtling this boutique exotic to crazy speeds is an Audi-sourced twin-turbo V8. Next up, our number 8 finisher, which made its run not long ago. The Mercedes-AMG GTR did the deed in less than 7 minutes 11 seconds. A 577 horse stampede helped this sports car edge out both the Apollo and Viper. In seventh place, we find a car that is revered by enthusiasts the world over, and while it may be getting some gray hairs, old age has not slowed Nissan's GTR down. In fact, the Nismo version of this beast Rounded the ring in 7 minutes 9 seconds, propelled to victory by a 600 horsepower twin turbo V6. Now, the GTR is a car I know and love, even in base form. It's way too much for street use because it's always goading you to go a buck 50 through a subdivision. But the number 6 car on this top 10 list is the first one to crack the 7 minute mark. Lamborghini's Aventador LP 750-4 Super Veloce completed a lap of the Nordschleife in 6 minutes 59.73 seconds. Now a 740 horsepower V12 and lightweight body helped deliver this stunning time. Doing the same deed in an even 657 is Porsche's amazing plug-in hybrid, the 918 Spider. With a V8 engine and two, count them up, two electric motors, it has 887 horsepower, which is enough to propel it to 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds. Yeah, it's fast. But not quite as fleet as the Radical SR8, which made it in 65608. How did it achieve that time? Well, you can thank an exceedingly favorable weight to power ratio. This car is motivated by a 2.7 liter V8 that's good for a robust 430 horsepower, but remember it weighs right around 1,500 pounds, about 830 less than a Mazda Miata, which has, remember, just 155 ponies on tap. Now, you do the math because I can't. No, seriously, long division is really hard. Next up, another Italian exotic, the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. According to the tractor builder, this lightened 640 horse coupe rounded the ring in a scant 6 minutes 52 seconds, a time that seems almost too good to be true. But refuting any doubts, the company released telemetry data a few months back, verifying the lap time. However, as with any of these figures, it's wise to take them with a whole shaker's worth of salt. Next up, the second place finisher, the Radical SR8 LM, gnawing through the track's 13 miles of tarmac in just 6 minutes 48 seconds. A force-fed V8 with some 460 horses made it all possible, though this production car, and I'm making air quotes, 
pushes the limits of street legal. Ben, show them my gestures. Show them! It's a production car that rolls on slicks and has no windshield or roof. Now for the alpha dog, the top car, the lone sausage in a world full of buns. <laughs> Which production model lapped Die Grüne Hölle faster than any other? Well, apparently it was the next EV Neo EP9, which conquered the green hell with four individual electric motors plus a megawatt of power. It's about 1,340 horses. It can reach 124 miles an hour in just 7.1 seconds. Next EV bills it as the fastest electric car in the world, and with numbers like those, I'd be inclined to agree. So that's a rundown of the 10 fastest production cars to make it around the vaunted Nürburgring. Now, admittedly, this is just a bunch of mines bigger than yours, but it can be fun, I guess. Or, or not. That's up to you to decide. As always, thanks for your patronage, and I will see you around the next bend. Hey, if you love great videos, why don't you check out the comparison test we recently published? I pit the Lincoln Continental against the Volvo S90 in a dark horse luxury throwdown. Which car won? Well, you're going to have to watch to find out. You might just be surprised. I know I was.